Jill? Morning. No, Gordon? Uh, no, because I'm home with it. Hi. Morning, Doctor. Still here. No need to rush. Yeah, you don't want to be too early. Still a bit shy, isn't it? Yeah. No, I think it's time we did something to break the ice. Ah, this is the girl we need. Oh, yeah? We're going to have a bit of a laugh at the new student nurse. We need your help. <laughs>
Dr. Ellis to visit the medical lab. It's not the first time. Not a pretty sight, I'm afraid. Okay, could you get me a bowl of water and some cotton wool? He only does it to get cushy life on medical. Yeah, just the water, please. <clears throat> so, you did this, did you? Mr. Bullen? Hello, oh, no. That's what it's like. On here? I can imagine. How long have you been in? I'm on the phone with me. Right. It's just down the road. Feels like another life. Oh, well, at least it's not too far. For visitors, I mean. Still on the beach. Is that your wife? And the kiddies. I don't know where they are. Thanks. It wasn't my fault what happened. Nothing ever is, is it? If she knew I'd lose my temper. Help me, please. Help me find her. That cunt was deep enough to need stitches. He really meant it. I expect he did. And he's done this before? Yep. So how did you treat him the other times? How do you mean? Well, obviously, if he keeps on doing these sorts of things, he must be pretty depressed. Of course he is. He's in prison. He's supposed to be a picnic. Yeah, I do realise that. Especially when you've been done for beating up your own wife. So bad. She lost her eyesight. Is that what he did? I'll show that. I want more about his body brush than you. He deserves it. Okay, well. I'll pop in tomorrow, check on the stitches, see how he seems then. He'll see him how he wants to see. It's all an act. You're new to prison life, ain't you, Doc? Don't let the blinds take you in. She lasts about six hours. I'll pop back on my way up and give you another one. Another one lasting tonight. Okay? You're a good friend. I hope so. You should have seen her face when she saw thermometers. She went off 100 mile an hour to find sister Pity. So I'm sure I wasn't taken in for a moment. Yeah, and Alan, you mustn't be too mean. So you don't look too happy. Hey, don't say he's had another run in with this hoity toity. Jean McAteer. She ran it in this morning about doing the prison work. It's nothing to do with her, is it? It's up to the doctors. I think she's rather nice. Nice? Yeah. Glamorous. Glamorous? Do you need glasses or what? It's all makeup. If you saw it first thing in the morning, you'd get a big shock, I'm telling you. Might try that. <laughs> priority over our own patients. Well, it depends on need, doesn't it? Not which patients they are. Student Nurse Clark, come on, it's the end of your shift. I'll just finish these. 
You've got a lot of tidying to do, haven't you? Yes, sister. I've enjoyed it. Well, now you've found your feet, I think it's time to let you do some proper nursing, don't you? Working with the patients. I'm sure you'll find that even more enjoyable. Yes, sister. Thank you. We we'll start on it tomorrow, then. Absolutely. 